Hey everyone, this is Derek here. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the new training mode on the TIMI version or TIMI version of PUBG Mobile. And I'm going to be explaining why I think that, well, this training mode is superior to the one we have on global version and why I hope they bring it to global eventually. So let's go ahead and jump into the training mode. I think I'll make this like a two part video just because uh, there is a lot going on, a lot to cover for sure. And uh, let's also take a look real quick at our graphical settings, just make sure that those are okay. It looks very nice here. Uh, this loading screen looks like a very high quality. So, Teamy really has surpassed uh, recently, you know, just recently, but has surpassed the visual quality of the Lightspeed version, in my opinion. So, let's go ahead here and uh, just take a look at our settings. Indeed, we do have the, uh, the highest frame rate, I'm pretty sure. So, can't read all that, unfortunately, but... Um, Pretty sure we should be good. So here is training mode. So this is where you spawn in. You spawn in uh, right in the middle of all of it. And there are three main locations on this training island. So very similar to Global Training Island. Uh, it is again a small island. But this one is larger and there is a lot to get to. So I think in this video we're going to be taking a look at the, uh, the shooting range where everything is. And then uh, perhaps we'll take a look at the vehicles, but I think I'll save the buildings for another video just because, like I was saying, I don't want this one to be super, super long. So as you can see here, I entered the shooting range through uh, just crossing over this uh, little sign there. And you can see that on the right here, we have targets that we can either shoot through or throw through. So this will be good for throwables as well as uh, if you want to practice, you know, maybe peeking, leaning, that sort of thing, and then uh, shooting. So we'll just take a look down here and make sure that there's nothing down here. And uh, man, does this run smooth. It runs smooth and it looks really good, at least in my opinion. Let me know uh, in the comments down below how you think it looks, but I don't know. I mean, this is like legit, you know, maybe not PC, but it's, it's good quality for sure. So here uh, you can see that even in the Teamy version, the items are very similar. So you can see here are our melee weapons. So we've got the pan, the sickle, the crowbar, and uh, the machete. Then we have our healing items. So this is a huge difference uh, versus the global version of the game. That is that you can actually take damage and die while you're in training mode. I'll demonstrate that with a Molotov. But uh, if you die, it uh, doesn't really matter because you just respawn back. Although you do lose your items, uh, you do drop all those and you uh, have a little crate there. So you can see we've got a med kit, first aid kit, adrenaline syringe. Some of the uh, the item pictures are different, but they do the same thing. Let's see what else here. We've got some uh, armor. So these are level three, level two, level one armor there. Here are the helmets. Here are the bat packs. So you can see everything, like I said, looks slightly different than the global version of the game, but uh, not too bad. So here are our throwables. Let's go ahead, I'll just grab a Molotov and uh, just chuck it right here. And you see how I'm taking damage? Actually taking quite a bit of damage. You can see, there you go. Derek G has killed Derek G. So uh, then you just spawn right back here, right where we started before, and we'll run back to where we were. And I'm pretty sure there is a crate. Yeah, so there is a crate. So you drop a crate when you die, just like in the normal game. And that's pretty cool. So, there you have those guys. The ammo, uh, I don't know if I mentioned that yet, but the ammo is up here. So if you need ammo, it's right on the firing line. You can see all the common ones. You got 45, uh, 762 bolts, 12 gauge, the uh, AWM, the 30, I forget what it's called, 300, I think, Magnum. Is that what they call it? 300, yeah. So all that there. So uh, over here, again, were the items like um, your backpacks, your armor, your throwables. And then over on these tables are your weapon attachments. Uh, you can see here we've got some scopes. Also have all different capacity magazines, bullet loops, grips, you know, all that stuff. So uh, a lot of these are going to look familiar. Obviously, I can't read them, but we know it's like light grip, the um, half grip, the thumb grip, the duck bill for the uh, shotguns. So, And then here are your weapons. So we've got the all alone we've got the crossbow of course and then we have the, the pistols over here and we have our sniper rifles we have the shotguns so I'm pretty sure that this uh, these are our light machine guns 
So uh, they actually don't do it by ammo type. They do it by type of weapon. These are SMGs. Here's a random ghillie suit. Um, and then we've got our ARs, a ton of them, of course. And then our DMRs, or designated marksman rifles, which are meant for uh, longer engagements. So you can see we can pick up weapons like that. We can pick up attachments. And then over here, like I said, you've got, once again, your ammo. And on this side, we have... So the biggest difference is that this side we have targets. So you can see I, I haven't changed my um, setup yet. It's still set up for triggers. So I'm going to have to adjust that for claw or for um, thumb grips. But for now, I'll just claw up there kind of. And uh, uh oh, what do we do here? We didn't put it on the right weapon. Oh, no. Okay, it didn't auto equip. There we go. So you can see you have some targets that are just you know sitting here. Then you have some targets that move pretty quickly. You can see I missed that one. There we go. And it fell down. So when you hit a target, it should fall down. It should let you know. Let's see if we can hit this one. Okay, this one doesn't fall down. I hit it twice. All right, let's go ahead and take a look if we hit that one. There it goes. Okay, so maybe they take multiple shots to fall down. I'm not entirely sure. But uh, you can see that I almost like the global version better as far as uh, target placement, as far as distances go, because this one has them on the side, but you can tell it's pretty hard to read. Like if you were wondering how far away, uh, for example, this target is, suppose you could always do um, you could always do enemies ahead. I'm not sure which one that is, but I'd imagine enemies ahead is here with a rangefinder. But otherwise, uh, it'd be nice to kind of know, like you know, without having to look over here. Oh, this is 125 meters away. Okay. And this would really come into account with something like the VSS where you're going to have a uh, bullet drop. So, you know, you fire dead center in the middle of the target and you can see that it starts to drop off. So let's see if we can even hit that one from here. Nope. Look at that. See the bullet just dropped. Whoop. And that one's probably about, I'd say 200 meters away or so. So this is pretty much the shooting range portion. There's also a building over here. So why don't we go ahead and just take a look in there. Make sure that it's not uh, hiding any secrets. I don't think so. You can tell that these are house designs that should look familiar if you're familiar with a wrangle or the normal version of the map. You can tell uh, some some slight differences, but uh, overall very, very similar type of building. We've got a roof up here. It doesn't look like there are any items that spawned in here or anything, so I think that that is pretty much it as far as the uh, the shooting range. So I'm pretty sure I covered everything there. Like I said, again, you can die. They also have these uh, nice little, you can see, I don't know. I don't even know what you would call them. Uh, it's not really like a, a trough. It's bigger than that. So you've got some vehicles here that if you want to, you know, again, practice your peeking and stuff around vehicles, you could do that. Um, yeah, it's pretty well set up. I think it goes around back too. So this is almost like a moat, actually. That sort of reminds me of just like a dry moat around the uh, actual shooting area. And it does look like it goes all the way around. Indeed, it does. So uh, this would be a great place to practice just scrimmages, like short to medium range combat scrimmages where people are ducking behind cover. And because remember, you can, uh, I don't think I mentioned that yet, but you can, my understanding at least, is you can invite teammates to also participate in training mode if they're in your party. Uh, that's why it kind of goes to like a loading screen when you go to training mode like that. It's like you queue up for a match almost. And uh, you can kill each other. So it's a really good skirmish practice. So the other thing we want to take a look at now are these, uh, so the vehicle track. So you can see here the track is on the bottom, like uh, southeastern part of the island. And we have boots as well as vehicles. So you can see here is the motorcycle. Here's the evil three-wheel motorcycle, the buggy. They look a little bit different, obviously. The graphics are a little different on this version. So uh, there is the Dacia. Let's just keep going around. Here is the monster truck, which is, uh, we'll drive that around in a second because that is the TIMI specific car right now, or truck rather, monster truck. So uh, obviously a little less realistic perhaps, but uh, they do exist. There are trucks that look like that and uh, it can get over rougher terrain a lot easier than something like the muscle car without flipping or getting stuck. There is the van of Miramar. And then we've got our pickup truck and our UAZ. So all the vehicles are over here. There should be gas too. Yep, here's gas. So if you want to practice driving around your vehicle and you unfortunately run out of gas in it, that's uh, that's no good. So that's how you can help uh, alleviate that issue. Let's go ahead here and take a look at the uh, monster truck. I don't know how the control scheme is set up, so I think we're just going to go for it. 
So let's do a let's do a nice easy lap. Let's see if I can do a lap without crashing this thing. You can see it drives pretty well, so you've got a bridge right away. Looks like we've got some like maybe S turns here. Oh, just a pretty sharp turn. Okay, yeah, we've got a little bit of weaving here, so if you want to practice your weaving mechanic side to side, always good in the upper level games uh, to do that to avoid getting shot. You can see down there, uh, I won't go down there right now, but you can see that there is a boat, like a boat launch, boat dock, so that's pretty cool. And uh, here's our little finish line, so if you want to race your friends uh, from start to finish, this would be the end of what the heck just happened there. Either way, uh, that was one lap around the uh, around the track I must have just clipped the pole or something either way like I was saying uh, let's actually let's see if we can drive over this barrier I don't like this control scheme this is control scheme 2 for driving vehicles okay yeah look at that so you can get right over that concrete whereas another vehicle might have gotten stuck on it so this is how you're supposed to get down there uh, uh, it's like a nice little pit stop almost off the track and uh, once you're down here you have access to watercraft so let's take a look. Let's see if we can actually uh, get out of this vehicle. I'm not entirely sure uh, how to do that. Like I said, just because there we go. This is the teamy version. And I can't read anything. Here is a warehouse. Doesn't look like it has any items in it. It does have more gas cans though. So plenty of gas all around this place if you need it. Here's our normal boat. Looks like you get two of them for the price of one. And then there is the jet ski over here. So we've got a uh, we've got a target, so we've got a target over here on the lake. Uh, I'm not sure if it does anything. Uh, it does fall over. Okay, and we've got another one over here, which we're out of ammo, so we'll have to switch over to the mini, which uh, should have that six times scope on it, right? Maybe we have to cycle the scope. Maybe it got bugged or something. Okay, there we go. So let's take some shots at that target. Does it fall over too? Maybe not. So. Not entirely sure, but there are targets out on the island. That's that's pretty cool. Let's just go ahead and shoot it one more time. See. Okay, there it goes. And uh, look at that. There's a target all the way out there, too. So further away for sure. It's a weird render bug there. It looks like fireworks almost. Hey, there we go. Or maybe that's intentional just to let you know that you uh, have indeed knocked it over. But here's the jet ski. This is going to be awful with this control scheme, but you can see here. Let's uh, let's take it out. So I think we'll take it out this way, and we'll see uh, what we can find. You can see I took some damage when I uh, fell off the, or when the monster truck hit the. There's a little cove here. I took some damage when I um, hit the, crashed the monster truck into that finish line before. I noticed that there is a uh, an island out here, so I think we're going to go ahead, check out the island, and then I think we're going to end the video there just because I want to talk about the layout of the other town where you can practice your skirmishes and stuff, but um, I don't really want to do it in this video because this one's already almost 15 minutes long, and that's that's pretty long. So we've marked the location, and it looks like uh, that's a, it's a little sandbar that we can't drive up onto, so that's different. Um, hmm. Interesting. Let's, uh, let's take a look, see if this is the edge of the map. Yeah, I think it's the edge of the map. Okay. So that, that explains why you can't uh, go any further. We hit the invisible wall, and this little island is out there to uh, taunt us, but otherwise uh, otherwise doesn't look like you can really interact with it. So it doesn't have a target or anything. Let's actually uh, boat around the rest of the island while I do the outro. We'll just see if we see anything interesting on the coast, but I don't think so. I think uh, this is pretty much it, so like I was saying before, uh, we'll cover the town in a future video just because it's a great place to practice skirmishes. I want to show you the layout of it, but other than that, uh, this is what I hope Training Island becomes eventually in the global version. And let me know if you agree or disagree with me, but I just feel like this one offers, especially if you can uh, go in with teammates, you know, squad mates, I think that this one just offers a lot more than the uh, current global version as far as... Uh, as far as a training mode that you can really get a lot out of and practicing your mechanics and you can actually take damage which is obviously uh, really nice if you are training with people because then you'll know if you get sniped you know from across the across the town or something you'll know that uh, indeed 
perhaps you shouldn't have peeked the window or you shouldn't have stayed still too long or however you know you can you can practice your mechanics to uh, potentially avoid that in game so we're on the back side of the island now and it's it's nice but uh nothing really all that crazy to report just a bunch of rocks and shoreline you can definitely you can definitely beach the boat and definitely you know work your way up those rocks they're not that steep but yeah honestly was kind of hoping there'd be an easter egg or something back here so let me know if i missed anything but uh i don't know we're most of the way around the island the island's pretty big it's definitely bigger than the other training mode island but yeah, i don't know like i said it doesn't really look like there's all that much excitement out here now you could have skirmishes in the woods so that's what this is here for you've got your topography you know you can see large uh, mountain ranges and stuff that you uh, can practice sniping from the top of those or trying to get to the top without uh, you know maybe using smokes to cover your position so that's what those are there for too but uh, my name is Derek G if you found the video helpful definitely give it a thumbs up whoa and uh, share it with your friends it really does help the channel grow and I think we've hit another invisible wall let's uh, go further yeah let's go closer to you there we go so like I was saying, if, it, if you found it helpful, definitely uh, consider subscribing for tons more PUBG Mobile content, as well as part two of this tutorial on the Teamy training mode. So I hope to see you in a future video soon, or in my Discord server, which I'll also leave a link to down below. So let's just go around, uh, I think it's faster if I just boost. Let's just go around the rest of the way and see if we can get this guy parked back where we started. So just to, uh, whoops, uh-oh. I just realized I can't uh, third person person peek without the uh, view tool while I'm also adjusting the uh, see I can do this and then I can actually oh whoa Are we hitting another invisible wall here might be nope okay there we go now we're going I think we're back to that cove so let's cut in here yep here are the targets again so you can see some more targets out ahead on the island you could practice uh, I guess bridge camping or bridge sniping maybe trying to hit those and uh, there we go I don't know where the rest of the boats went Oop. actually yeah I don't know where the rest of the boats went but either way there you have it my name is Derek G and I hope to see you in a future video soon